In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily update your Amazon affiliate tracking IDs that sit within your Amazon affiliate links that you've added to your WordPress website. The tracking ID usually looks like a little word with a hyphen and then some numbers. You'll have seen it if you've ever set up some Amazon affiliate links. Now, there's a number of reasons why you might need to change it. Maybe you've just created a new tracking ID and you just want to switch over your links to that new tracking ID. Or more commonly, the problem is that you've been uh, kicked out of the Amazon Associates program. Maybe you didn't generate enough sales in the first 90 days. And you've now got your site all sorted out and you've reapplied and you're back in, but they've given you a completely different tracking ID. But of course, you've still got all your old links on your site. And rather than go through them one by one, I'm going to show you how you can quickly do it in bulk. And it's literally just a couple of minute job. Now, my one caveat on this is that it's only going to work if you've used the long link that you get from Amazon Sitestripe. If you've been using the short link, which I always say don't use for this very reason, then you're going to be in trouble and you're going to have to go through and update all your links manually. But if you have been listening to me and you have used long links, you'll be fine. So let's get on the computer. Let's get it done. Okay, so I'm over at bestroofbox.com, which is one of my Amazon affiliate websites. And I've noticed that in my latest article, I made a couple of mistakes with the links that I added. Um, I'm just gonna hover over it. I don't know if you can see, um, but down there in the bottom of um, my browser, I can see the full link and I can see that the tag that it's using is swim signs hyphen 20, which is actually, one of my other tracking IDs for one of my other websites. So yeah, don't know what happened there. Maybe when I was copying and pasting from Amazon, I had the wrong tag selected. So I wanna quickly switch that out for the correct tag. Here is my Amazon affiliate account. I've got my tracking things here. See, there's the swim signs one, but it should be best roof box um, 07-20. That's what I really want in the links. Uh, by the way, you can manage your tags when you come into Amazon uh, Associates dashboard up here and you get to manage your tracking IDs and create as many as you like. Quite handy if you just you know have different sites or you just wanna track different things. So what we're gonna do is just install a quick plugin and do a search and replace within the WordPress database. Basically, that's what we're gonna be doing. Sounds quite scary, but don't worry, it's gonna be fine. So I'm gonna go to plugins and add new. Come up to search, type in better search and replace. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, there we go, it's this one here with a kind of gray bluey icon. 800,000 installs, it can't be too bad. By Delicious Brains, what a name. Okay, let's click activate. There we go, that's installed and activated. So now within the tools section, we have this uh, option here, better search replace. So in here, we've got the two boxes that we can use to do the search replace. Now, before I put something in these, let me just quickly take you over to Amazon. I just wanna clarify, like I said at the very start, this only works with the long links. So when you're using your site stripe to generate your Amazon affiliate links, when you come up here, you have this option for short link or full link or long link as I was calling it, full link. It has to be the full link because that way we can see the tag within the link. If it's the short link, we can't. So if you've been using short links, which I say don't use, then you are gonna have to go through manually. But hopefully you've been using the full links as I've recommended it many times. So yeah, back to here, let's close that. So we're gonna search for this one, which is the wrong one. I don't want that tag on the site, so I'm gonna put that in the search for box. Then replace with, we're gonna go for this one. Paste it in. Now, if you know which tables the links are stored in within your WordPress database, you can select them, but I don't. So just to catch all, I'm just gonna select all of them. To do that, I'm gonna press Command A. On my Mac, it'll be Control A under Thought on Windows. You can tick this box if for whatever reason you might have capital letters in your links, which is probably unlikely, so I'm gonna leave that. The next box is Replace GUIDs. 
I'm going to leave that unticked. I'm not quite sure what that means, but yeah, <laughs> let's leave it unticked. I never ticked it before. Uh, and then this one says run as dry run, which is probably a good thing to do um, for the first time you run it. That way it will just tell you what it's found and it won't make any changes. So if you made a mistake, you're fine. So that's gonna take a few moments. There we go, that's all done. Uh, let's put this message up top. 51 tables were searched, five cells were found that need to be updated, which sounds about right. I think there's about five links that I've added that are incorrect. So, I'm happy with that. So let's untick this and let's run it for real. Okay, so it says 51 tables searched, five cells changed in five updates. Click here for more details. Do that, it'll show you what it's done. It's updated it there in the options, the post meta and the posts table. Very interesting, right, so let's just go and have a look oh, via the front and just see if it has worked, which I'm sure it has. So it was this one, if you remember, let's hover over. We can now see that the tag down there has changed to best roof box 07 hyphen 20. So we're all done. That brings us to the end of this video. If you've got any questions or comments, then leave them below. I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you'd like to watch something else, there's a couple of other videos chosen specially for you. Hope you enjoy them. Be sure to subscribe by clicking on the eagle and why not check out my vlog channel? Do so by clicking on my face. Till next time, bye for now.